Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Well, it looks like I'm going to be, be taking more deliveries of Humble Pie. I've already had two deliveries already and just going through all my uh, messages on my phone. <laughs> oh my god. There's loads of emails. Look, I got it wrong. I didn't think that Tyson Fury could beat Wilder. I thought Wilder would stop him early. I thought that was his only chance. Uh, I think a lot of mind games were played into it. Uh, leading, leading, a lot of mind games were involved leading up to the fight, and I think Wilder maybe made a mistake coming in heavy. But Fury actually told the truth for once. He was coming for the knockout and he came in heavy, so the man's a chameleon, isn't he? But we have to give him credit. He's gone to a country yet again and won the heavyweight championship of the world. And he's got the clean sweep, now he's got every belt in boxing well, at all levels. So Tyson Fury has to be given credit. And I miss, I lost my bet at first round bet and I lost my other bet. Round one to three, my plan B bet. <laughs> they always look attractive, them first round bets, don't they? I'm always a sucker for that. But uh, Tyson Fury is the heavyweight champion of the world. He's the number one now. There's no ifs, no buts now. He's the number one. Joshua's number two. And then there's the rest. The rest are just also runs, aren't they now? Fury and Joshua have to fight now. They have to fight. Eddie Hearn has got to take the whatever split he can get just to get the fight on because the reason he's not announced the Pulev fight yet is because who cares? Who cares about Pulev when you've got Tyson Fury there after what he's just done there to Wilder? He's not only beat him, he could have ruined him. I mean, it were just a... He just broke him down and beat him up. He did to him what he did to Chisora, but he had he had a bit of spite about him last night. So he has to be given credit. I got it wrong, so I'm going to eat, eat humble pie. I'm just going to keep it strictly about boxing. I'm not going to go on about things that have happened behind the scenes with Tyson Fury because we could be here all day and I know I'd win that argument Tyson Fury is a masterful boxer he is pound for pound heavyweight champion of the world he's pound for pound number one in his division and you'd probably say he's up there now with Usek Crawford and Canelo he's up there with them guys now uh, and Errol Spence He's in the mix now, out them guys. Tyson Fury, Canelo, Crawford, Errol Spence, and Alexander Usyk, and Lomachenko. They are the top six pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. It, it just depends uh, who you go with, because they're all, I'm, I'm assuming they're all from different weight divisions. I know Usyk's just coming to every weight division, hasn't he? but he dominated the cruiserweight. But they're the top six pound for pound for pound fighters in the world of in the sport of boxing today. Tyson Fury is the best in his division. Anthony Joshua isn't. Anthony Joshua now has to fight him because I I can't see anybody now wanting to go and watch Anthony Joshua against Pulev. I think Frank Warren and Bob Arum have pulled a master stroke. Eddie Hearn knows this. That's why they held back. And that's why they sent Bean out to Vegas to build bridges because Eddie can't go out there, can he? And just get abused. Uh, they've sent Bean out there to build bridges, but from what I've heard, there's no down for Bean out there. You know, he, he's just uh, just a guy in the background. He's just that guy who's saying, "Who's that seedy-looking guy here over there hanging around there?" Oh, that's Adam Smith. Oh, Mr. Bean from Sky. Well, somebody's just texted me now and they said that Johnny, El Johnny Nelson's had to eat his words that much yet again. He's been shitting alphabet out his arse for the last three years. <laughs> well, I got this wrong, didn't I? Big Porky got it wrong. I just went with 
the fact that I don't think you can take a long layoff like Tyson Fury's done and come back and do what he's done. But he's been getting better gradually and obviously he's he's, he's been with Ben Davies and he's, he's got his defensive skills right and got it motivated. And then he's gone to the finish off his training with a guy who's showed him how to knock people out. So we have to give him credit. I like fairy tales though. I would have liked to have seen him stay with his original trainer, Peter Fury. Well, he wasn't the original trainer, Peter, obviously, from the beginning. But I would have liked to have seen him stay with Peter Fury, the guy who took him to the heavyweight championship of the world first time. But boxing's not like that. And uh, that boat's gone now. So Tyson's the best in the world. He's pound for pound number one in heavyweight division. And he's, he's in the top six now of the... You know, the pound for pound guys. So, uh, that's my that's my opinion. I thought it were a great fight, but it was just domination, wasn't it? He dominated him and bullied him and beat him up. You know, so, a 19 and a half stone man who moves like that at six foot nine with that reach, the long, longest reach ever. Although I'm not sure what value of reach was, but Tyson Fury... The only person who beats him is Tyson Fury. So, I think that's about it really. We've covered everything, obviously. I've got loads of more deliveries of humble pie to eat. And uh, it looks like it's going to be roast pork for the week, doesn't it? For all the people that want to have a pop, all the Tyson Fury fans. But, you know, sometimes we get things wrong. So, but I'm going to leave you on this note. In the first fight, I thought Tyson Fury were down too long on both counts. But, that's done in it. He did outbox him, but I thought he were given every chance to have to recover in both of them knockdowns. But that's gone. He's just dealt with Wilder emphatically. And I don't really think we need to see a third fight now. I don't think we need to see a third fight at all. I think that... Uh, Wilder shouldn't really take that fight. I can see Joshua fighting Wilder, thinking he's going to get Tyson's leftovers, just like he did Vladimir. And it's typical match for him, isn't it? You know, they like to capitalise on anybody that's had PR. Wilder's had good PR. So I can see Eddie Earn going for Wilder now, the loser of the fight, if he doesn't fight Tyson. I can see Wilder fighting Joshua after he's dealt with Pulev. I can see Joshua being froze out with uh, Tyson, but I can see him dealing with Pulev. Then I can see Joshua and Wilder fighting, and the winner of that fighting Tyson Fury. That's how I see it going, but who knows? You know, it's left to the men in suits. But all the money now, and all the accolades, and all the sponsorship should all go to Tyson. Fury, that's what it all should go now. He deserves every respect. You've got to tip your hat off to him, the Gypsy King. I didn't think he could do it, so it's humble pie for Big Porky. So I think that's about it, really. Nothing really much needs to be said. I'm going to do a full review of all the weekend's action uh, on the live phone ins this next few days. So I'm just going to give you this video now. As a little treat, so because it's Sunday and I don't want people thinking that I'm going to bottle out of eating humble pie all week. But after last week that I've had with boxing, I just want to have a little bit of a me time and family time, and um, you know, spend some time with my family. All being well later. All right, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. I am eating humble pie and plenty of it thanks to Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King and the number one heavyweight in world boxing at the moment. Alright, he's just be he's just got his third win over a world champion, Cunningham, Vladimir and Deontay Wilder. So well done to Tyson Fury and enjoy your moment. <laughs>